are you? This is Kathy with my DIY. This is my puppy Coco. She just got her hair cut, so she looks a little different and cold. <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna be decorating my fireplace. I haven't gotten to do it yet, and it's getting close to Christmas, so I really gotta do it. And I figure I'll take you guys along. Maybe it will come useful to somebody. If you don't have a, a fireplace, you can use that garland to decorate your entryway table or around the door and really anywhere around your house. Uh, so let's do it. I get a lot of questions about my fireplace. I actually found it on amazon.com and my husband installed it for me. I'm gonna try to find the link and provide it for you in the description below. And uh, it's a great fireplace. You can open up the glass and replace the crystals with a log. It is safe to have a TV above this fireplace because the air blows forward, not upward. And this shelf I also got on Amazon.com. It's by Pearl and um, you can tell right there, there is a little pearl on the side. And this stone, if you're interested, can be found at Lowe's. First thing we're gonna do is attach three command hooks to our fireplace mantle. One on the front and two on the sides. We need to wait at least an hour for them to stick before we hang our garland. Next, I attach the lights to my garland. And what I like to do is first plug in the lights and then work with the opposite end. You place your lights in the middle of the garland and every now and then you tie it down with the wire. I actually use the wire hooks that you use to hang your ornaments on the tree. I would tie it here and there and just uh, go all the way down. And uh, when you finish, if you still have lights left, like I do right here, I just uh, run it one more time. and just keep reinforcing with those wire hooks here and there. And when you reach the end of your string, you can fold your garland in half to find the midpoint and hang it right there on that middle hook. And then hang the other two ends on the remaining two hooks. Let me show you a close-up. I actually like to hang my garland on the wire, on the string of lights. It just goes in there very smoothly. And then take a step back, make sure it's pretty much even. You might have to adjust it a little bit here and there, fluff up your garland, and we're ready to decorate. Oh no, Coco, I didn't lay this out for you. No, no, no. <laughs> we are going to need some pigs. And you had seen already this buffalo check uh, pigs that I got at AC Moore. I decorated my Christmas tree with them. In addition, I have some long needle pine frosted, as well as some of these uh, white magnolia leaves and some crystals. Pick uh, something that matches your tree and your style. And of course, you are going to need the ribbons. And as you can see, I'm not the only one who loves the buffalo check ribbon in this house. <laughs> I got this ribbon at Walmart. A 30 feet roll was only about $5, I want to say. It is a great deal. It's even cheaper than Hobby Lobby. It's good to have more than one ribbon. I will be using same ribbons as on my Christmas tree, this beautiful silver glitter ribbon and the Merry Christmas. Uh, both are from AC Moore. Also, you're gonna need any ornaments or flowers you wanna decorate with. Here I have Dollar Tree ornaments, 12 for $1. Can't go wrong with that. 
So you cut about two to three feet of ribbon and you start off at the corner. You attach your ribbon diagonally uh, by uh, just twisting two branches of greenery and um, then just fix it up a little bit. You leave about six inches ends on both sides. And you do the same thing more or less on the other corner. And then I have a little bit longer piece for the middle. Um, do basically the same thing. Uh, leave the tails about six inches or so. Uh, make a nice uh, loop diagonally and um, just crisscross my branches on the top and fix it up. Here's the look at the whole thing if you're interested to imitate this exact pattern. I had received some best emails, so exciting! Let's see! <laughs> oh, how pretty! Look at this! Merry Christmas from Barbara Shipley. How adorable. Look at that beautiful card. Thank you so much, Barbara. I really appreciate it. You made my day. I think the card is handmade. Uh, it's such a beautiful work. I did not notice at first, but uh, Barbara, please comment. Let me know. Did you, did you make that card? Because that's such a wonderful, um, special card. Um, such a great work. I'm so impressed. Love it so much. Thank you, honey. Gorgeous. And I have one more. <laughs> okay. Christmas wishes. Brenda, thank you so much for the lettering of Dashing Through the Snow. Oh, how cute. Thank you so much, Brenda. What is this? Really? <laughs> really? You had to put the money in it? I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. And, but thank you so much, Brenda Kerbetz. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name. That's so sweet of you, but you really didn't have to. That's too much. I was so happy to send you that uh, printout. You know, I understand not everybody has a printer, so, but you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, sweetie. And um, thank you, Barbara. And thank you to all my besties for uh, uh, watching and supporting my channel and sending me wishes and uh, great comments every day. Thank you. Brenda, you included the stamps too. <laughs> That's too much. You are such a sweetheart. Thank you. Next, we are going to make clusters out of the pigs, just like how we did for the Christmas tree, if you watch that video. First, you split them in smaller pieces. Actually, these pine needles I already split. You make like three out of one. And it's good to have at least three varieties. Like I have these little crystals, the pine needles, and the buffalo check. You use one of the stems to wrap around uh, all of them and you make like a little bundle, just like so. Make at least six of those little clusters. And just like in the Christmas tree, we're going to insert the clusters right there uh, where the ribbons meet with the branch to cover that area up. And I'm actually going to use uh, those wire hooks to tie around the branches because I want these to be secure. And 
then we attach the second one on the opposite corner. Before I proceed, I need to cover up that wire because it bothers me so badly. <laughs> and then I continue attaching the clusters over there where I use those branches to tie the ribbons. I have three sets of magnolia leaves. I'm going to insert them on the left, right, and in the middle. I have some single picks here that I got last year on sale really cheap. And I want to use them to create these clusters to extend my garland at the bottom. Um, like these two picks, they almost the same, but not exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull apart some elements and switch them. So they look more like they're the same. It's a silly little trick, but it works. And who knows, maybe one day you're going to have to do something like that, right? <laughs> you see, they look the same. You can't even tell now, right? <laughs> And this uh, bushel we can easily split in the middle in half. You can use that long stem to tie it together. And we can also attach some of these swirly things at the bottom to extend these clusters even further. I'm going to tie these together with a wire because those swirly things don't bend. And here is that cluster. I'm simply going to insert it up and tie it together with the greenery. And see how I automatically extended that garland. I just feel like we need a little bit of ribbon over there now too. And I have some leftover glitter ribbon. It's a little bit different than the one we used up, but it's okay. I'm just going to tie it over here on the side and create like a little loop just like we did at the top. I tie it in two spots, fluff it up and it's going to be so cute. Okay, so we have a new day now and uh, this is where we stand. We extended the garland on the left and on the right. This is how it looks. I have these left over, so I want to continue adding. I just remembered that I got these glitter branches from Walmart for 97 cents. I have a whole bunch, so I want to use them throughout here. Oh. 
Oh, I like this. They really give a nice effect over here, like winter wonderland, icy snowy branches, right? I will continue adding them. I have three large ornaments here. I want to insert one right there in the middle and then I'll attach two on the sides. You cannot tell from the distance, but when I'm standing right here next to fireplace, there was a hole over there, right there. And now we have an ornament. That's why I wanted to put one in there. And now these two on the sides uh, really balance it out. And here are these Dollar Tree ornaments I mentioned in the beginning, 12 for a dollar. And I actually have some bigger ones from last year leftovers that were seven for a dollar. So we're gonna make clusters out of them. But first things first, these things fall apart. So we need to reinforce it with some hot glue. Uh, you see how easily these tips come off? Just give a, a drop of hot glue in each and we avoid the problems later on. So you see, I have this wire hook that these are the wire hooks I've been using throughout. Uh, we insert like three ornaments on each, tie it together, and we have a nice little cluster. These are much more visible now and you simply just hook them on your little branches throughout the garland wherever you have holes and they're great. They're lightweight and they give a nice interest. These are also lightweight plastic. I got them two for a dollar one year. I'm gonna add one on each side and maybe one in the middle. And here are my favorite Dollar Tree birds. Uh, of course, we need little cherries on the top, right? <laughs> uh, let's add one on each side. I am not happy with the books over here. I have a piece of uh, leftover garland and I'm going to use that to cover that cable over there. much better. And I'm going to cover it up with the branch too. I need to add my nativity set over there. I got this one for a half price, $7.50 at Target last year. It's so cute. Kiss for baby Jesus. And I'm going to set up the three kings on the other side. I also got these trees last year at Home Goods, fifteen and twenty dollars. They match perfectly over here on both sides. And here's the collection of different items I got over the years, like these old-fashioned skates from Christmas tree shop, Santa Claus, and the sleigh that's from uh, Home Goods. I'm adding some of those snowballs. You can get these at Target Dollar Spot for three dollars my old sleigh and this cute owl that's Christmas tree shop. 
I also have stockings. I got these at BJ's one year, two for ten dollars. Great deal. And you know, it just takes some adding and taking away and just playing with the arrangement. I'm sure you have items around your home that you could use to decorate. Here's that little tree that I made. Uh, many of you liked it. I have a stencil for you if you like to create one. And here I'm adding some pine cones. Just to add a little bit of rustic element, as you can see, uh, my pieces at the bottom are kind of rustic, so those pine cones really pull the whole thing together. And here's the look at the finished garland. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I'm so proud of it because I really didn't spend much to create this and I think it looks so nice and rich, right? <laughs> And I love how it matches my Christmas tree too. besties so this is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed this video please make sure you hit like that really helps me out and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so because i'm gonna be doing many more creative ideas for you on a budget so you don't want to miss it out take care guys see you next time bye bye